In September 2020, Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Giudice had put her giant custom New Jersey mansion on the market for around $2.5 million. This wasn't the first time the estate she once shared with her ex-husband popped up on the market, but these days Teresa has moved on and has a new place to call home. Earlier this year, the reality star and her boyfriend Luis Relas bought a 7,000 square foot manor in New Jersey. Today, we'll take a look at a few of her homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The fabulous Teresa Giudice is best known for starring on The Real Housewives of New Jersey and is also the author of multiple books. In 2015, she was released from prison after serving 11 months for fraud, while her ex husband Joe began his sentence in 2016. However, those days are long behind Teresa as she has a new man, Louis Rellas, in her life and is slowly gaining her success back. No doubt those charges affected the star's success and while she's known for her extravagant and lavish lifestyle, highly publicized financial troubles got her in an estimated $11 million worth of debt at one point. Sources say her net worth is back in the positives now and with the new house purchase, I gotta say she looks to be doing well. Her and Louis's new abode is just up Teresa's alley with luxury features like a saltwater pool with underground slide and insane home theater that you guys are gonna want to see. Welcome back everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Giudice calls home. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2014, Teresa and her ex Joe pleaded guilty to 41 counts of fraud, and as a result, Teresa was sent to prison. After her brush with the law, Teresa's Lincoln Park, New Jersey home was sold back to the lenders in a foreclosure auction. Teresa's husband Joe bought their former three bedroom and one bathroom home for $170,000 in 2015. The couple had initially listed their home for $179,000 prior to their sentencing. However, the listing simply described the home as charming and not a flood zone. As a result, no bid were made on the property. To make things worse, their Manahawkin, New Jersey beach house was also sold back to its lender at a foreclosure auction for the minimum bid of $100 in August 2015. Shortly after Teresa's very public divorce to Joe, the couples listed their custom-built Monville mansion for $2.5 million. This is the same one that popped up for sale again more recently at the end of 2020. The estate featured 10,000 square feet situated on a four-acre property and boasted six bedrooms and five bedrooms. Bathrooms. The couple bought the property in 2001 for 530 k and quickly began building their dream home from scratch. The luxurious mansion was finally complete in 2008 and included a securely gated entrance with red gravel driveway with a huge planter. I gotta say, one glance at the mega mansion and you know it's worthy of Real Housewives standard. Teresa's former abode also had an attached three car garage plus a detached two car garage allowing room for five cars and that doesn't even include the driveway. The the deluxe palace where Teresa used to create some reality TV drama featured a grand entrance complete with black marble floors, a Cinderella style double spiraling staircase with elegant swirled railing designs, and regal chandeliers soaring above. While some may claim it's over the top, it seems that's just the way Teresa likes her home. The home has a bit of French Normandy style in the build design, while a turret tops the double height entrance portico and heavy front doors. As you would expect from a home this size, there was ample space with two story great room and other entertaining spaces like a large formal dining room with herringbone wood floors and an embellished fireplace. Then we had the colossal kitchen which featured carved wood cabinets and a huge island snack bar that may have been the most familiar room in the home for Real Housewives of New Jersey fans. It's right here where family and friends often gathered and Teresa's late father was often seen cooking up some sort of authentic Italian food. Upstairs there was a second floor family room that opened up to the swimming pool and boasted a TV watching lounge, dry bar, pool table and a pro poker table. Four of the bedrooms, including the master suite, are found on the second floor as well. Teresa's colossal master bedroom measured 36 by 22 feet and included hardwood flooring, high ceilings, a sitting area and an additional fireplace. 
Dark Place. Some more bonuses the reality star had access to were not one, but three walk-in closets and a fancy ensuite fully decked out in rust-colored marble. Moving outside, the property had a newly installed swimming pool set against stone walls and some shady trees. Fans of Real Housewives will remember the pool being built by a hunky pool contractor friend of Teresa back in the day. Either way, the mansion offered quite the outdoor oasis, despite being so close to the New Jersey city life. While the home was stacked with countless deluxe features, the couple once again had a hard time unloading the home. More recently, the home popped back up on the market with a reduced price of $2.25 million, continuing their unlucky trend of trying to unload real estate. Since moving on from her scandalous past and getting a fresh start in new love life, Teresa and her boyfriend Lewis have also recently snagged a $3.34 million investment property in Montville, New Jersey. I mean, that's what they're saying the property is for, but there's always a chance it'll be the couple's new dwelling because it really is oh so fit for Teresa. Oddly enough, the new residence is actually three doors down from the house Teresa had shared with her ex-husband. Hopefully the properties are big enough to keep those memories far, far away. This grey stone mansion was modeled after the Thomas Kincaid painting Beyond Summer Gates and features 7,000 square feet with 7 bedrooms, 7 bathrooms and 3 powder rooms scattered throughout. Upon entry, double wooden doors lead to a grand entrance which features Brazilian cherry hardwood flooring, custom crown moldings, elegant cherry wood spiral staircase and stunning chandelier floating above. I mean, with all of the chandeliers we've seen in Teresa's house tour, are you really surprised? I highly doubt she would live in a home without one or five. The spacious living room features top of the line furnishings, a gas fireplace and expansive bay windows which overlook the 5.6 acre property. The banquet sized dining room features dual chandeliers, Brazilian cherry custom made cabinets to match the floors and three sets of French doors while the family room boasts a gas fireplace, more French doors and a wet bar to help get the party started. The gourmet kitchen is decked out with nine Tiffany glass light fixtures, granite countertops and top of the line appliances. Between the center kitchen island, additional seating and prep area, you can be sure Teresa is more than capable of cooking up a store. Additional kitchen features include a large walk-in pantry, breakfast area with chandelier, and some more French doors which open to an outdoor summer kitchen. Quite possibly one of the best rooms in the home has to be the 11 seat movie theater in the basement which is designed for both movie screenings and family performances with add-ons like a changing and costume room for performers. The theater even comes complete with a concession stand and a wet bar with custom lit shelves for movie snacks. Nothing like open mic night in the comfort of your own home. No excuses for a dull family movie night at this mansion, that's for sure. Just when that was enough entertainment, beside the theater is a rec room complete with billiards table, gas fireplace and French doors leading to the stunning backyard. The outdoor features at Teresa and Lewis's property are just as grand as the rooms inside. There's a beautiful saltwater pool with waterfall and while that's enough for the adults, there's also a 60 foot underground slide that would excite the whole family, I'm sure. Also back here, there's a poolside cabana, multiple lounging areas, a jacuzzi, barbecue area, fire pit and more. Whether it's Teresa and Louis who live at this mansion or the next lucky family, there's something here for everyone. And with that, I think it's time to wrap up this house tour. We checked out Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Giudice's homes, including her former Montville mansion and her newly purchased one. After seeing her properties, what did you guys I think. I think the over the top and lavish mansions definitely suited the reality star. They're exactly what I would expect from Teresa. I have to admit at the beginning of the house tour when I first heard that Teresa lost a pair of homes for $100, I really fell for her but it's hard to feel bad when she recently upgraded to a mansion with its own movie slash performance theater. Either way, what an impressive spot that was. Out of the many rooms and amenities in Teresa's mansion, which was the very best? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Thank Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!